I'm going to give a bit of a follow-up on this whole Thunderbolt and Light Peak patents, trademarks. Is it Apple's? Is it Intel's? In, the, in my first video, I was only really talking about the trademark, Thunderbolt, which is currently owned by Apple. That is a name. It is the same kind of thing that, let's say, Motorola makes a phone. It may have a code number to them. It could be some like 5523-X model. And they market it to Verizon. And Verizon creates a name like Droid X or Thunderbolt, which is another, another cell, little smartphone name, or anything else. And they trademark that name. It's someone else's technology, but the marketing and selling of that device, branding of that device, and that those trademark names belong to Verizon in that, in that instance or, or other cell carriers, just for that example. So Apple is trademarking a name with Thunderbolt, not so much a technology. A patent is, techno is the technology part. That's, that is protecting the technology. Intel has patents. Apple's ha Apple has patents. Now, I've provided three patents that you can download and the links are in the description. In the patent, there's one patent from Intel which is very obvious to read. It's, there's a lot of text you have to go through, but it is about interconnectivity with using fiber optics and the different waves and how it, how it connects with each other and with the assistance of, of transmitting data alongside with power and all this other stuff. It seems to be, if you read the Intel patent, that Intel is predominantly on the optical, on the optical and transmission of data and, and the chips associated with that. And Apple's patents, which have to do with peripherals and charging and data transmission, have to do with the kind of connection, how it's implemented within their computers. It would make sense that if, if Intel's admitting Apple's bringing it to market, well, Intel obviously has the I.O. throttle, the, the, the main meat of it, right? But it, that has to then be implemented into a computer of where Apple would take over. So again, I supplied two patents from Apple which are under the same heading, and I supplied one patent from Intel that you can then get into the, into the links in the description and read to your heart's delight. So. But to recap, patents are protecting the actual technology. If you're an inventor, again using the Verizon to Motorola or who or HTC, whoever makes the phone, has the phone. The HTC or Motorola has their own name for that phone. It gets branded by a cell carrier, Verizon, and they may call it Thunderbolt, they may call it Droid X, they may call it the happiest smartphone alive, whatever. Those are the names that are trademarkable. It cannot be used in association in association that is something the court of law would say, oh, that's too similar use. Obviously, you can use Thunderbolt for peripherals, and then you can also call a smartphone Thunderbolt and then have some sort of maybe uh, pest control chemical that you want to call Thunderbolt. And all of that would be fine and trademarkable, and nobody would step on each other's toes. It would only come into, into play if it were a similar service or product and things like that. Obviously there's a relationship between Apple and Intel so I don't think anybody's going to be pissing anyone off you know, for now at least. So that is the best what, uh, that I can describe it between trademarks and patents and what implementation Intel has according to its patents and what implementation Apple has according to their patents. Thanks for watching.